I'm going to show you how to create unique stylized metahumans in Unreal Engine 5.6. This is useful if you're working on an animated film type of project where the default metahumans are too realistic and boring to look at in a film. Since we all know the more stylized and exaggerated a character looks, the more eye-catching it is, and the more eyeballs that get drawn to your film. So let's get started. If you have a design in mind, that will be useful. I'm not a good character designer, so I'm going to get AI to help me with this. I'm using Leonardo.ai, but honestly, you can use any AI model for this, as long as your prompt has these kinds of keywords, like Pixar styled, or front view, close up of face, cinematic, just to name a few. And then just go ahead and generate your image. If you like a character, you can go ahead and download the image. If not, you can keep prompting your AI tool to refine and generate the character design that you like. It's also helpful if your AI tool can make the background transparent, but it's really not a big deal. For me, I ended up picking this image. So you can see that the background has not been removed for this case. The next step now is to turn this into a 3D head model. You could of course flex your 3D modeling and sculpting skills and create it yourself using your design as a reference. That would be very honorable. But in my case, I'm working on an animated feature film and need to create lots of characters. So I don't have time to do much modeling or sculpting. So I'm going to also use AI to help me generate the head model. And I'll be using the new Spark 3D AI model, which at the time of recording produces the best and highest quality 3D models from images. And it also generates textures that come along with it as well. It provides a lot more detailed models than you'll get from any other image to 3D generator. You could get this AI model on Hugging Face and generate it on your machine locally. There's quite a bit of steps to do that, but in my case, I'm just going to make it very simple and register an account on hitem3d.ai. This tool is actually powered by Spark 3D, so you will still get that high detailed 3D model output as well. Just register an account on the site and it comes with free credits as well that you can play with. In this case, I've selected this one that I generated from Leonardo.ai and then just hit generate, which would take up about 10 tokens. I've already done this, so I don't want to waste my tokens because I have other designs that I want to play around with. So we can see that in my history over here. So as you can see, it's also generated the materials as well. Without materials, this is what it looks like. And it looks very well detailed. And of course, I could have sculpted this kind of design myself, but it would have taken me quite a bit of time. So I did not want to do that. And I'm also happy that it's generated some textures for me as well, which will be very handy for stylized characters. So what you want to now go ahead and do is go to format, select FBX and just hit download and let it download on your machine. So once you have the FBX file, before we go ahead and import this into Unreal Engine, we want to remove a few things. We want to remove everything under the neck and we want to also remove his hair. Because if you try to import like this into Unreal Engine, your metahuman will look very odd. It will give your character a big head which looks quite odd. So we just need to do a little bit of cleanup. So to do the cleanup, I'm going to be using Blender. So let's now go into Blender and open up a new file. I'm just going to select everything by going to select all and then object delete. You can also go A, X, delete as well. That's the shortcut. Let's go to file, import, FBX. So in my instance, I downloaded it here. When you download it from hitem3d.ai, it might have named it 0.fbx. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck animation and just hit import FBX. And there we have our character and we can see that it looks quite nice and quite detailed. If we look at it in material mode, we can see that it also comes with the material, which looks good as well. The eyes looks a little bit odd, but you know, it doesn't matter. Anyways, um, we're only concerned about the base model here. So now we need to go ahead and remove um, everything below the neck and also remove the hair. So before we do that, we want to fix up the orientation of this character because in Unreal Engine, believe it or not, this is actually the front view when you import it in. So we just need to go to tab into edit mode. Sorry, I need to select the character again. Tab into edit mode, select all, so R, Z, 90, and then minus. So if we now tab out of edit mode, the front view should now be facing 
this view. So if you hit numpad one on our keyboard, it should be looking like that. Control three on our numpad is actually the front view in Unreal Engine. Let's now go ahead and remove everything below the neck and also the hair. So tab into edit mode. Let's go to select none this time. Hit C on your keyboard to trigger the circle select mode. Scroll up or scroll down, whichever makes this circle bigger. Um, and also toggle, well, let me just right click out of this. Toggle this X-ray mode so that we can see through the object. Then hit C and then um, just go ahead and delete everything below the neck. So putting this, all right, cool. I also go in and miss the spot. Yep, so that looks good. Go ahead and hit this one as well. Go ahead and hit X, delete vertices. And that should delete a lot of vertices. So your viewport should be a little bit faster if it was laggy before. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to delete the hair as well. So while still staying in edit mode, let's go ahead and select all the hair bits. So again, circle select. Let's select all this parts of the hair. Take your time with this one because we don't want to rush these kind of things. So we don't want to delete the ears. So front view, let's make sure we select everything and deselect anything that's around the ear. Cool. So now I might just go ahead and hit X, delete vertices. Let's have a look at that in this mode. There's still a few more verts that we need to get rid of. I think I've chopped off a bit of the ear. Doesn't matter. We can just again toggle X-ray. Let's go ahead and remove anything extra. Alrighty, cool. So we have something that looks like that. I know it looks a bit weird having this bit of hair sticking out like that. He has quite long sideburns. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. So now that we have the face, let's have a look at that in textured mode. We can see that it looks like that. We can now export this out so that we can bring it into Unreal Engine. So let's go to File, Export, FBX. I'm just gonna name it something like Updated. You can name it whatever you like. Untick animation if it hasn't already. Tick selected objects. And also for path mode, I'm gonna change this to copy. And where it says embed textures, I'm gonna go ahead and, and click that, which will also embed the textures that we see over here. So let's go ahead and click export FBX. All right, so now in Unreal Engine, we're ready to bring in our character. So create a new folder, and we can now start to bring in the FBX file that we created from Blender. I'm going to directly drag and drop the FBX file into Unreal Engine. And then I'm just going to leave these defaults and click Import. In addition, I'm going to go ahead and create two things. First, right click, MetaHuman Identity. Let's then this one, Test Character Identity. And let's also create another one, right click, MetaHuman Character. Let's call it Test Character Character. All right, let's start with the identity. So double click into that. Let's drag this into the tab over here. It's just easier to look at. And then here, we want to start to bring in our static mesh that we created from Blender. So click Create Components from Mesh and then select that mesh that you imported in. So in this case, it's this one. Great, so we can see that it's aligning to the front view, exactly the change that we made in Blender so that we don't have to manually position our viewport. We can just uh, go ahead and use it directly as is. So you can change the field of view to be bigger so we can see more of the face. That looks good. Um, and then now we can start to um, turn this mesh into a metahuman identity. So first, click Promote Frame. Current frame will be promoted as current promoter frame will be set as front view. Next, click Track Markers, and we can see that it's automatically tracked the features of the face. If you want, you can go in and tweak it a little bit to match more of how you see your reference image. And once everything is aligning and matching up go ahead and click MetaHuman Identity Solve. So if you want to compare your changes, just click this middle view over here, and then you can see what our changes would look like. So that's looking quite good. You can see that the head looks good. If we didn't delete the hair, and the hair comes like this, it would have actually made the skull bigger as well. So that would have looked a bit odd. So that's why I, I wanted to remove all the hair and the neck, because it, it just estimates when you, where, wherever you don't have a mesh, it just estimates the rest, which is good enough for our case. Go back to main. Let's open up the MetaHuman character. So now we can change the shape of this face to match the one that we created in the identity. So just in head, go to conform from identity this time. And we will choose that identity that we created, which will be this test character identity. We don't need to worry about eye meshes or teeth mesh. Just go ahead and uncheck those and click conform. And there we have it. 
we have our very own stylized character. The body obviously doesn't match. And of course, we can see a little bit of this lumpiness at this side because original mesh, we didn't remove these sideburns. So that's probably one of the important reasons why it's important to have a bold character to design off. But anyways, no biggie. It's making our character look more unique like this. The eyes are bigger, which is what you don't get in, in typical Unreal Engine characters, which is good. So I, I'll just quickly go ahead and change the body of this character to be a little bit more thinner. Maybe I might just do that with the model. So not maybe a bit low and fat, not much of a height like that. And let's go ahead and give our character a material. Skin tone is a bit darker. Try and match up with this reference image like that. We can play around with these face textures to give it a unique look for this character. Something like that. And let's add some hair. I'm just going to use a hair that clo more closely matches maybe this one. Maybe a bit more brown. All right, and maybe we'll just give him some clothes as well. Obviously, this character doesn't match the uh, original character reference that we have over here, mainly because obviously the hairstyle is different to this one, and we don't have these eyebrows and mustache and everything that matches this. Secondly, the skin texture is too realistic compared to this one. So we can obviously modify the skin textures even further, which I won't be doing in this video, but I will be covering in a later video. Everything else pretty much lines up correctly. And that's pretty much the magic sauce. I hope this video has been useful. I'll be making an animated feature film from scratch using Unreal Engine and Blender. So be sure to subscribe if you want to follow along on my journey. Thanks for watching.